Any questions for Coach? So Quinn posts 31 points, 11 rebounds, dominant performance all around. What you see from him? How is he able to be so effective? I mean, he was really good. Um, obviously, I'm just proud of him. I'm happy for him. I'm thankful that he's here. You know, this is his third year putting on the Boston College jersey, so his loyalty and commitment, um, you know, is a huge thing for us and for this program and for BC Nation. So, you know, he got rewarded. You know, he, he was the ACC Most Improved Player last year, had another good spring and summer, and, and kept getting better, and, and it showed tonight. Coach, there were times uh, that during that first half, especially when it just felt like that, you know, the team just came out and, and were just able to just impose athleticism on Fairfield. Um, where did you kind of see that falling in? And was that something that, you know, as the game progressed, you just wanted to, to highlight? Well, I mean, I subbed a lot in the first half. I played 11. I played everybody who was eligible to play. So we played a lot of guys. Um, you know, obviously you want to win. But you also got to develop and grow your team. And so I thought with the subbing early, uh, we established a good lead, and then we lost it. We lost our way for two or three minutes. Um, in the second half, I decided not to sub as much and play more of the older veteran guys, and they, they reestablished, and I was able to go back to some young guys. So, you know, I thought for the most part, maybe 30, I thought 32 minutes of that game, we were really good. And then there was a couple patches where we needed to be better with taking care of the ball and, you know, just shrinking our defense back, not letting them drive it so easy. So those are all things we can correct. Was it playing 11 guys because, um, you know, you wanted to see how much, like, the depth, you want to give everyone a chance, or was it more so the lead that you guys had in the first half? Well, combination. Some of it was the lead. Some of it wanted to play them guys, uh, the younger guys, because they bring so much energy every day in practice, mm -hmm. and they compete against that first team, and sometimes they beat that first team. So, you know, just want to reward them for their energy, their enthusiasm, and how they show up every day. I mean, obviously having a lead makes it a little bit easier to play young guys, but but they deserve it. They, they work for it in practice, and so I want to give them a shot. How did you like, a, how did you like the ball movement and some of the, look, the looks that you got, especially from the perimeter? You guys kind of started inside and worked your way outside. And yeah, the overall the ball movement was good. We thought we had an advantage on the inside. Um, but overall, the ball movement was really good. Again, those patches when we didn't play as well as we needed to, that's when the ball got stuck. And we had guys trying to make plays one-on-one. -on -one. They started to deny us some. And we just didn't make great decisions in some of those patches. But overall, again, I said 32 minutes. I thought we played really good. The ball movement was great. We shared it, uh, had 15 assists, which is great, but just needed to have three or four less turnovers. So. Uh, again, that's stuff we can correct, that's stuff we can clean up, and you know, and we'll, we'll go back to work uh, in a couple of days. We'll take tomorrow off and go back to work on, uh, what's the day, Monday? We'll go back to work on Wednesday. Last year, you guys played in a lot of close games today. You know, Fairfield came back and, and for, ended the first half a little bit, second half pulled away. How were you guys able to you now never let them get back into the game like that? Yeah, just, you know, uh, guys played together. We made some shots. We made some shots. You know, I thought uh, Quentin Post made a couple threes. I thought um, Mason Matson shot the ball for us. You know, Donald Hand came in. So, you know, Jay-Z was driving it. So I think we just played good basketball. I thought we had maybe um, three or four minutes of basketball where we were stopping them and we were executing. So we was able to go from, I think the league got to nine early in the second half. We was able to push it from nine back to like 18. Uh, but it was just getting stops. And then being smart on offense, taking care of the ball, getting the right shot. Uh, Claudio Harris Jr., obviously the new starter out of the four or out of the five. How did you think he played? You know, overall. You know, first game at, at Conti. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else been in Conti before, so they can make themselves at home. But I think for him, first game in Conti, you know, pretty good atmosphere. So he probably has a little jitters. You know, he's been really good for us, and so I'm glad he got that jittery game out of the way, and hopefully he can go back to his his normal self. Of there were a couple times I noticed uh, like almost back to a defense where you, where you have a guy guarding the ball and then someone would come over and, and lend help. Is that just more ball instinct? I know uh, Caudell had it a couple times, but is that just ball instinct or is that something that you know you guys try to work on and try to emphasize? Talking about us on defense? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we try to come over there and scratch at the ball. You know, if somebody driving it, we want to come over and help, help our teammate. Uh, we'd be in the gaps, be active, and just, you know, scratch at the ball. You know, try to be a... Uh, irritant. Um, 
you know, so that we can get some steals and some deflections. So we work at that. That's a big part of our defensive scheme, uh, just being in the gaps and being active and scratching at the ball. They threw, a, they threw a press at you guys. How, how, how easy is it when you have a guy like Clinton where the guards, when they try to deny the guards and they could get him the ball, he could get break out that press and get your offense? Yeah, set. yeah. I mean, you know, he, like I said, he's, uh, he's very familiar with everything that we're doing. Um, he's confident. He's comfortable. You know, he's been here for a while now. And, and he's skilled. You know, he's, he's a skilled player. I mean, um, so he, there's a lot of things he has in his toolbox. And, and ball handling and passing is one of them. Yeah, Coach, how's, how's your foot doing? That was the first game up You know what? Yeah, I thought I'd be out of the boot by now. But uh, it's doing fine. You know, I'm not on a scooter. Uh, I'm not in any pain. And so it's going pretty good. The only problem is, you know, after the game, I couldn't go in there and dance with the guys. <laughs> they, like, they like to see me dance. but So I got a, I got a, a easy out. I ran out of the dance room, so I got an easy out. But no, it's doing good. Uh, I'm on week 14. And uh, it's been a process, man. It's been a long process, week 14. So uh, hopefully I'll be out of the booth here in a couple of weeks. You get Jim to, to do the dance for you? Yeah, maybe Jim can do it for me, yeah. <laughs> Are we going to see the suits again this year? Or is it back I mean, the... you know, maybe. Maybe. I just felt like um, I had a boot on, mm -hmm. yeah. didn't want to put a suit on, and, and it kind of was a last-minute deal because we wore suits the last two years. So, yeah. so we'll be in these polos and these uh, half-zips for for at least a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, thanks, thanks everyone. Coach.